when I first got Jack, I was wondering how much do I feed him and what type of foods do I feed him. Um, when I was transitioning him to raw food, it was, I couldn't work it out. So I thought I'd make this video to help all you other people work out how much to feed your dog. How much you feed your dog very much depends on how much they weigh and how much exercise they get and also whether you want them to lose a bit of weight or gain a bit of weight. So it is a bit of a trial and error procedure. When I first got Flash, he was eating a kibble diet or dry food diet and pretty much nothing else. I observed when I got him, he kind of liked eating, but he wasn't super excited even though we did eat it um, slowly and his coat was sort of wispy and curly and sort of a bit free from a photographic point of view he pretty much looks the same but when you get close up you can see the difference so now that I've transitioned him to a raw food diet his coat looks fantastic now um, I get positive comments at least every single day about how nice he looks and then the next question I usually get is how often do I brush him which is maybe just once every two days I'll just give him a quick five minute brush if you're going to feed your dog raw food and you're coming off a regular uh, dry food dog diet there is a transition period you can't just go straight to feeding him raw food and expect to get good results you can expect the dog to get diarrhea for a while maybe up to a month. That's what happened with uh, Jack. Mainly because uh, the body's not used to producing so much bile, which is the chemical used to digest fat. So that takes a while for the body to adjust. And eating that way myself, I, I know what it feels like. It took me about a month to transition from a high fat diet from a high carb diet. So. So I think with Jack, the word is to give him variety. So I give him a bit of everything. He gets a bit of bone, a bit of mince, some chicken wings, chicken necks, lamb's necks, kangaroo tails. Uh, he gets some organs as well, liver and kidneys. Yeah, since we got Jack, we've been transitioning him to a raw food diet, which took, it took about three months for him to fully adjust to it. So he had some fairly traumatic type of symptoms when he was transitioning. Probably the main one was diarrhea. And the diarrhea is basically just the undigested fat exiting the system. So that's why after a while um, that ceases and the, the pups become normal and they actually don't smell at all, which is actually quite bizarre, the odorless. So um, at that stage then you know your dog is adapted to um, burning and digesting fat instead of um, carbohydrates, which uh, most dry dog foods made from, specifically wheat or soy. So I, I feed him twice a day. Most of the things I get him are human foods, I found. I, I found them to be human quality food seems to be cheaper than buying dog specific food. For some reason they want to hike the price up the minute it says it's for a pet. So, and I found, especially with pet mincers, that a lot of them reek. So, you know, I'm not sure about that's because it's rinses out of date which isn't fit for humans anymore so then they then just label it as pet food or yeah I'm not sure what that is so I buy a lot of um, human food now so I have to I have to look around and go from go to different butchers to get what I want so basically he has a larger meal at dinner time and a smaller lunch the lunch usually consists of something bony 
So normally he gets a couple of large chicken wings um, or something with all lamb's necks or chicken necks, things of that nature. So today I've got something new for him, which he's never tried before, which is I'm just going to give him one of these to see what it, how he handles it. So this is kangaroo tail. So I'm not sure where, where else you can get it from, apart from here. So I've got a big bag of that stuff. It's quite cheap. So that's the sort of thing I give him for lunch. But for dinner, I usually get the different types of minces. So um, I rotate between them. So it's rotation between pork beef, lamb and a mixture of those sort of min minces and then I'll mix that with a, a specific organ or or hearts. So usually it's chicken hearts or lamb's hearts or ox hearts. So this week I got ox heart so it's a big one that'll last him a couple of days and that's his chicken next, which he's getting in a few days. As you can see, the human version of chicken next is quite cheap. It's only $2.77 a packet, which is cheap for this country. Uh, I got him some beef liver, which is $3.77. Most of the time I, I get him ox liver or ox kidney, because it's a lot cheaper. Uh, usually with those organs, I usually sear it a bit because um, I find he likes to taste a lot better. And it actually smells quite good. So this is lamb next with, well they call it lamb neck cutlet, so it's actually got a bit of meat on it. So he loves these things. So sometimes at lunch he gets a couple of those. So yeah, I try and mix it up every day, but I don't mix it too much. and occasionally he gets fish as well um, he doesn't seem to be overly fond of sardines um, sometimes I give it to him sometimes I'll cook a little bit of salmon and give that to him he seems to really enjoy salmon um, there is a place I can buy salmon mince from so that works out good for dinner time so weight rise I looked it up for a for that breed, for a higher energy dog, it's anywhere between 500 and 700 grams for his weight. And he's about, Jack is about 20 kilos, so he's only, he's quite small for a male. So I usually give him about six to 700 a day. And that seems to be enough because he's not losing weight, but in fact he's gaining weight. So, so that's a good thing. Isn't that right? He's just had all these, he's had two and a half hours exercise this morning, so he's a little tired. Okay. So another thing that Jack loves to eat is cream, or dairy specifically, cream and cheese. So in the morning I have myself a little packet of crackers with cheese and he's practically sitting on my lap for a piece of cheese and the same with cream so if I make some fruit salad and put a bit of cream on it he, he wants to lick the bowl clean so and he loves cream and because he's now fat adapted he has no problems um, digesting that type of material is that right boy? So I've gone ahead and calculated some weight tables, uh, well, weight tables for the required amount of meat for the dog's given weight. So if your dog weighs 20 kilos, you would give your dog between 400 and 600 grams per day. If your dog weighs about 40 pounds, you would give them about 13 ounces to 18 ounces a day. 
So going up to 40 kilo for a dog, you would have to give them between 900 and 1200 grams a day. And for our 80 pound dog, it would be between 25 ounces and 38 ounces per day. So that, that's a bit of a rough indication. So you would, if, if your dog's a little bit overweight and you want them to lose weight, you, you would probably start off with minimum side and then just keep weighing them weekly to see if they're actually losing weight and then just adjusting food accordingly. So I know with Jack, I wanted him to gain a bit of weight because he was underweight when I got him. So I've been feeding him about so he's almost 21 kilos now. So I've been giving him 700 grams of meat per day even though the maximum for his weight should be about 600 because I just want him to gain weight. So, and he is putting on weight slowly. So he's put on about five kilos since I bought him. So that's a bit of an indication on how much meat you should give your dog if you want to give your dog a raw diet. And then there's the um, type of meat that you should feed your dog. Approximately 10% of the total weight of the dog's intake should be bones. So, and of course, um, depending on the dog's fat needs, you might need to um, or give him something like lamb or beef or chicken, which is quite fatty. So with Jack, when I first got him, he was only used to eating dry dog food only. So I don't think he had any experience in eating bones and didn't have any experience in eating meat, from what I could tell. Um, I say that because he had a lot of difficulty eating his first few bones. You know, just have getting the jaw, jaw pressure to actually crack the bones. So I started with chicken necks, which is probably the easiest thing, even for a small dog to eat, and then progressing from there. So I've gone from chicken necks to duck necks or turkey necks, which is a bit bigger, to chicken wings, which is a little bit bigger again. There's a lot of gristle and cartilage and fat in chicken wings, so Jack loves them. I think they're probably good for every dog. So now I've progressed up to lamb ribs. So he gets about 300 grams of lamb ribs for lunch every second day. Um, I find it's just too much to give, it, give him that every single day. So I alternate that with chicken wings, one or two, depending how large they are, and that's his bone intake for each day. So um, I've got him progressed up to eating lamb's ribs and lamb's necks. So when I first gave him a lamb's neck, oh, and kangaroo tails. So when I first gave him a lamb's neck, he had difficulty eating the bone, breaking the bone, having enough pressure to break the bones up because the vertebrates are quite large. Now he has no problem breaking them up. And same with kangaroo tails, he can break them up no problem. He, he eats them um, probably just a little bit slower than a chicken wing. So, you know, I, do, I have noticed that it, had, it has changed his face a little bit, you know, maybe from the muscles or something. So, that's the type of bones and the bone composition that he gets. So, apart from that, I try and vary his meat intake between cows and sheep to a little bit of kangaroo food here and there to some fish here and there but his main staple would be beef and lamb and chicken he gets maybe about 100 to 200 grams of mince per day that's the high fat mince every day he usually gets some sort of an organ a little bit so generally he gets hearts because that's just pure protein for him um, usually it's lamb's hearts so we give him one heart a day and we cut that up 
Uh, if we can't get that, we'll get him chicken hearts. I don't give him chicken liver at all, but what I do give him is ox liver and beef liver and lamb liver. So I usually buy that is very cheap to buy, um, human grade that is. I usually lightly sear it for a few minutes on each side, as that seems to make it really delicious for Jack. And I divide it into three, so he gets um, one third of that per day. And then I rotate it, that every couple of weeks. So he doesn't get organ meat every single day. Um, I think it's probably good he gets a bit of a break from it here and there. And that's basically um, what I feed him every day. And after doing that for eight months now, he's, his coat looks 100% better than what it used to be. And he's noticeably stronger and he's noticeably heavier. And Jack won't even touch dry food now. I have to buy him premium dry food, such as this stuff. Uh, this one is um, New Zealand mackerel, and it's pretty much 100% dried fish. It's like a dry snack, quite expensive, $20 for this little packet. And I use that just for training and I can barely get him to eat one piece. He just doesn't like it. But if I get a um, oyster blade steak and chop it up, he'll, he'll basically jump off a cliff for me um, because he just loves that meat so much. I hope you find this video useful. Please like and subscribe.